All right, welcome everybody to Sylvan Librarians. We are here today to do a tier list for the Commander Ban List. Um, so our categories are Obvious Bans, Extremely Deserved, Deserved, Unban, and then there's a category for Braids. We aren't sure why. Yeah, we didn't make this list. No, this is somebody, this is just a list on, uh, on Tier Maker, but we, like... Because it's in green below unban, so is that like obvious unban? But then it probably wouldn't be braids because people hate braids. So I, I feel like it's just a reference that this person makes with their play group or something. Like I always assume people hate braids. I don't care, but we'll get into all that stuff. Yeah, I say we use the braids category as an obvious unban category. I mean, I can I can change the text right now on it. Oh, is that a thing we can do? Yeah, you just you just delete C's there. I mean, you can do. Oh, oh, you know what we need on this list what? is we need a we need a band as commander category. Let's do. Let's, I want that back. Let's do that as the braids. The braids one. Okay. Because I feel like that is the only reason braids. Oh, I hit caps lock. That Braids was ever banned. Is because it can be your commander. Yeah. Because, I mean, we can just put anything like we would unban in the unban. You know what I mean? And we will have differing opinions. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying before Discord interrupted me. Um, what was I saying? I don't even remember. We're going to have differing opinions. Oh, yeah, we'll have differing opinions. So you'll be seeing my screen. For the recording. Yeah. But I can, like, put a little side edit of where you would put it, like, when we talk about it. Yeah. If it's different. So, I think the... I think the Hold obvious... On. Before thing... before we go, though, mm -hmm. before we go, what is your take on the ban list? Because I'm actually... In, the reason we're doing this, I thought about doing this right now, is because I want to see how we evolve. Because, you know, later on, we're going to end up doing something like this again. I think we need a ban list, but I think there are way too many cards on the ban list. And I think there are some cards that don't need to be on the ban list at all. Like, like there, there are some where I'm like, yeah, I can kind of see why, but I don't agree. And there are some where I'm like, no, that's just stupid. That shouldn't be on there. No, yeah, I fall on currently. I used to be really just get rid of the ban list entirely. Uh, I have moved more towards... I can see why this is more the same as you. Like, I can see why this is banned, but I would unban it kind of deal. Well, like, but... I, I was really... I was more down on the ban list until I saw that one CDH uh, game that Playing With Power did where there was no ban list and, like, every game ended on, like, turn one or two. Yeah. Because you just... What, what is it? Yogmoth's Will, I think, is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Well, like... I mean, we can get in, we can get into, like, make a cedh ban list and all that but... i i think that's personally i think that's the solution that would make like that would make all of the bands make more sense is if you actually had a separate format for cedh because like flash doesn't need to be banned in casual right no no one no one played for flash protean hulk no. It was just a problem. Maybe. It was just a CDH problem. Well, that's the thing, too. It, like, I think that it, you could ban Thassa's Oracle in casual. Yeah, I think you could, like, ban Thassa's Oracle or, or Demonic Consultation, either one or both in casual, because, like, no one uses them. But, like, the reason no one uses them is not because they're not good. It's because they're decidedly not casual. Like, I've yeah. been in a game where somebody Thassa's, like, they, they just Thoracled off on, like, turn four. Were you in that game, actually, at Game Haven? Yeah, where, where yeah, they hit yeah. the, the reason they when had they when they made it was me you the person they re, the reason they made the banless person and then the other person who tried to destroy a Thassa's oracle with the ability on the stack thinking that would work and they would believe us that it wouldn't work so then we yeah, had to call he, the judge he, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to swords the swords to plowshares the Thassa's and I'm like, no, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, so like you could you could ban Thassa's and demonic in uh, in casual if they were separate formats because. That's decidedly not casual. Um, yeah. But as is, it's kind of difficult because you have some things that are banned because they're good in CDH, but no one plays them in casual. Um, I think the obvious first ones that go on the obvious ban list is Power 9. That's where we're going to disagree already, huh? I 
I don't. I think the power nine is too good. I mean, I could get behind some of them, but like ancestral recall, come on. Ancestral recall is way too good. You it's, just don't. It's... You don't want it on the obvious ban list because you want to draw cards. But and... it is obviously way too good. No, you're you're right. You're right. I just I just pulling your leg. All right, all as right. much as much as I would love ancestral recall to be unbanned, I yeah. So we will just slide that up into there. Let me see here: five mocks, black lotus, uh, ancestral recall, and let's see what are the other two. Time walk and uh, time. Walk. No, not time twister. That one's not banned. I think that's the only power nine not banned. Is time is time twister power nine? I think it is. Got eight right you got, now. So you got the five. You, you got the five mocks. Black Lotus, Ancestral Recall, Time Walk. I think Time Twister's the other one. I don't think that uh, that one's not banned. Oh really? No. Oh, that the whole power nine was banned. Okay. It's a it's a very expensive wheel. Okay. Um. Uno momento. I'm sliding up all of these. Yeah, I'm just looking at the rest of them. Okay, I see the anti-cards aren't on here. So are the, are the anti-cards not on the ban list, or do, are they just, like, in the category of Wizards doesn't recognize that these exist? Um, It's like the generic ones, like how they say any cards that say anti, I think, are banned. And then okay. um, same with, like, how there's no silver border on here, just because right, silver... Right. They just aren't legal, period. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Let's just go down the list here. Let's make it easier on me to drag and drop here. So, yeah. Telerian Academy, which uh, I own. I own a copy of right here. I personally don't think that Telerian Academy needs to be banned. No, I would I would, I would, would argue unban it. And people are always on up in arms about treasures and you know tokens and then it's like well guys cradle you know how easy it is to make creature tokens yeah, especially exactly. in green like it, it, yeah that's that's only a valid argument if you ban the entire cycle and the entire cycle is not banned so, yeah like sarah so you don't need to ban sarah's sanctum but i mean that's yeah, sarah's think, sanctum is way less broken like that one's that one's cradle. that one's not banned i believe sarah's sanctum isn't banned but uh, i don't see it on this list i don't i don't think it's banned um but like guys cradle like in elf ball like you know, you can make arguments all day of what decks they're good in, right? Yeah. And those are the decks you put them in. Exactly. Well, and also, just run a strip mine. Like, the fact that you aren't running land destruction is your problem, not the person playing the Telerian Academy. Yeah. Like, I I don't, uh, I don't, or I rarely see, um, what is it called? The the budget guy is cradled, the flip one. Oh, uh, Growing Rights of Itlamok. Itlamok, yeah, yeah, yeah. I rarely see an Itlamok actually sit around on the field because someone finds a way to get rid of it. Well, yeah, Whether you either destroy it when it's the enchantment. Or, or, yeah. Or, yeah, you destroy it as the enchantment or you just get rid of it when it's the land. Like Yeah, so run run land destruction and this problem goes away. I don't know, like, just figure it out. Okay, so now, we're not saying run mass land destruction. No, but I'm saying definitely run singular land destruction. Field? Like every... Field Every of ruin? deck you have should have at least like two or three lands that destroy lands. Yeah, you got demolition field and field of ruin. They're both super cheap. Like yeah, those, I think those are the ones that I run. Like, just just do it. It's not. Bad. I would also I would also say uh, ghost quarter is also a good option, but it doesn't fetch you a replacement, so probably don't run that outside of green. Yeah. Um, next on the list balance. is ba yeah balance. How do you feel about balance? I think balance is fine. I I don't really understand. Wait, let, let, hold on. Let me let me look up balance to make sure it does precisely what I think it does. Yeah, it's just the person with the most lands in play, or you take everyone's lands in play, and you all have to have equal lands. So everyone goes down to the least amount of lands that the person has. I don't know if it does it with creatures. Does it do with creatures? Yeah, same with uh, same with creatures. Okay. I don't see a problem with that. It's very cheap. Um. How much mana is it? I, there's no Two cost mana. on here. One, one and a white. So that's... Yeah? That's very cheap for that effect. Um, 
but personally i don't really see the problem with it um Okay, now the only thing I'm thinking, and this doesn't mean that we should ban it. Um, if you respond to a balance, if you respond to your own balance with a... Uh, a Deferis protection? protection yeah, you... Does that make everyone sacrifice all their lands except for you? They go to Everyone goes to zero lands, zero creatures, and then when you phase back in, you have everything. Okay, so that's nasty... But, like, you can already do that with Armageddon. So, it's not like that's being yeah. prevented. Armageddon just costs more mana. Um, yeah. And, like, also, See, nobody runs mass land destruction. No, and that's the thing. Like, if you're if you're playing against someone who runs mass land destruction, and you're in a playgroup, then you have to talk as a playgroup, right? Yeah. But I don't think in the wild you're going to really... Maybe one in a hundred times. I'm willing to bet that. One in a hundred people you play against might run mass land destruction. And, like, I don't think the balance is even la is even really mass land destruction. Like, yes, it, it destroys it, lands. But it, like, it doesn't destroy all the lands. Most of the time it's not even going to destroy most of the lands. It's just going to bring the Simic player back down to parity with the white player. And well, I think and that's, that's fine. And that's the thing, too, is you're not going to really find... It's going to be even less of a chance to find someone who's going to run Mass Land Destruction and to fairies just to do it. Like, if someone right. did that and it was a win con, like, they're going to win in a turn or two, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, like, I've, I've played I've played against Armageddon to fairies before. And, like, is it obnoxious? Yeah. But usually it's... All right, I'm gonna cast Armageddon. I'm gonna respond to it with Teferi's, and the rest of the table goes. All right, good game. We don't need to yeah. play this out. <laughs> yeah, it's it, if they're doing it to do it, like you know that. Then after they do it, they come back in, and they have nothing still. Like they did it just to protect the little things they had. Then yeah, I can understand you're gonna be upset, but it's again ne not really ever gonna happen. Yeah, well, and and I think it's important for people to understand that being shitty is allowed, like. Like, people are shitty right now. You, you you can do things that are not cash money. Yeah. And like, there, there are cards that are not on the ban list that are very much not cash money. Armageddon is not on the ban list. And Armageddon is way saltier than Balance is. Yeah, it's just Vince post bans, and I'm not it a big really fan. It really is. So I'm I, not a big fan of it. So, unban? I'm on unban, yeah. Okay. Um, next is Yogmoth's Bargain. And I own three copies of this card in case it ever becomes unbanned because i have a lot of hope it's going to be unbanned i uh... see i'm torn on this one because like it's really good yeah like, it's good don't get me wrong it's, it's really good really good <laughs> i think I think this one for me falls under it's deserved to be banned, you know, because they have yeah. the stuff. I think I think Grizzlebrand is banned, right? Yeah, Grizzlebrand is banned. I think Grizzlebrand should remain banned. And I mean, he costs 7 or something to play, and he's pay yeah. 7 life draw 7 cards. So this is pay 6 for an enchantment, which is harder to remove than a creature. Right. Pay a life, draw a card, you skip your draw step. Well, and the other thing is to uh, as far as I know, there's not a ton of ways to cheat out an enchantment like this like it's really easy to cheat out a creature uh like, you have stuff like show and tell like effects or like omniscience will play it for free like sure sure but like as, as far as like you can sneak attack out a gr uh, grizzle brand or you can use an elvish piper or you can, yeah or you, you could use a flash but that's banned uh <laughs> yeah it's it's harder to cheat the enchantments out yeah i i so that kind of helps balance it a little bit but at the same time it's basically grizzle brand and if Grizzlebrand ought to be banned, I think that Yogmoth's Bargain also ought to be banned. And no, I like I understand. That's why I feel like I feel like I understand why this one's banned. I, yeah. Like, I don't think it needs to be because I there's ways to deal with stuff. Um, and that's just my answer for everything. Is I run removal up the wazoo for things I don't want to play against. Right. But I understand this one, so I feel like it'd be undeserved. Okay, I th I say we put Grizzlebrand it up there with it in deserve since this is really the same conversation okay let me grab let me grab old grizzy there he is all right 
just readjust my screen here. Whoop. All right. Next is uh, Biorhythm. You know what Biorhythm does? Yeah, I do. Okay. Eh. For those who don't, everyone's life totals become equal to the number of creatures they control. I get so why clear. it's banned, but I'm not sure that it should be. Cause it's, no, I don't, I don't, it's not I don't think... mana to cast, isn't it? It's expensive. I don't know, remember how much it is to cast, but there's also like a creature that does something like this where everyone's life total has become... Like you have to pay like a f activation on the creature that's pretty expensive. Yeah. Um... I mean, it's it's eight mana. It's a sorcery, so you can only do it on your turn. Um, I just, I don't really, like, I understand that it's basically a game ender. But, like, so is Crater Hoof Behemoth, you know? Yeah. It's also expensive, also wins the game. I, I don't have, like, I, I would not like this card if it was, like, you know, four mana. I would say, okay, that's too powerful. That ought to be banned. But for eight? And a sorcery? Like, there are ways to cheat out sorceries, but, like, not many. It'd be really fun in your Jobsy deck. Oh, no, for sure. Like, <laughs> there are cards on here, like, like we'll get to Fast Bond. I have a deck I would put fa like, a Fast Bond in. Even though I don't think we'll get there. But <coughs> I, I don't I don't think Biorhythm ought to be banned. I, no, I, I, would, I, would, I would put it in unban. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem ban worthy to me all right now we get to braids the one they made the category for that we changed right <laughs> uh it, it's 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 a no ban for me I, I don't get why it's banned it doesn't seem it's not even that good like, well i would put it as banned as commander that is where i would put i think that i think that's fine i wouldn't have a problem if it was banned as commander but like the fact that i can't run this in alenda or in Crash is extremely obnoxious. That'd be great in both of those decks. It'd be great in an Edgar Markov deck. It'd be great in a Ellis uh, Ellis El Elcor or something. Yeah, yeah I, I hate his name. Uh, <laughs> I like the card. I hate the name. Like it'd be good it's... in any Death Matters deck. It'd be great in Horvold deck. Like well, I, and I... here's the thing. Here's the thing too. For those who don't know, it, Bandus Commander used to be a thing. They used to just ban a card as your, you could you could play it in your ninety nine. You couldn't have it as your commander, and they took it away because it was too complicated for people. Which is you just know? wild to me. It's like, hey, these people are playing the world's <coughs> most complicated game. One additional rule is certainly too much for them to handle. Well, and it's not even like if someone has a card as their commander, right? And you're like, hey, you can't play that as your commander, but you can play it in your deck. I'd feel like most people would be like, oh, okay, I'll just pick a different commander that does right. generically the same thing. Right. Um, and I, th I think on that, like, as long as we're on this topic, I think Golos also goes. That's banned. where I would put Golos. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any problem with Golos being in the 99. I understand why Golos shouldn't be in your command zone. Yeah, he can pay for his command tax, which I like all that searches the land, all that, you know, whatever. He, he encourages you to build your deck with a really bad mana base. Yeah, and then you get to play stuff for free. So, exactly. like, yeah, I get, I, I get why Golos was banned, but it's banned his commander. Yeah, would make exactly. more sense. There, he's not really that powerful in the 99. He's nice in the 99, but, like, he's not broken. Yeah, you're not recasting him as much as you would if he was your commander. All right, I'm going to move him to... I'm going to move him to band his commander. That's where I put him. Now, let me... I got to read this card. Until end of turn, you may add colorless mana to your... Oh, shoot. I know this card. Which card is this? This one I don't know. It's, uh... You can just pay one life over and over to add colorless mana. What is the name of this card? Oh, oh, oh. Is it Channel? Channel. It's Channel. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, in a format where we have 40 life, I think banning this is fine. I Yeah, I would feel like uh, that one goes to obvious. Yeah. Like, that's... Either obvious or extremely deserved. Say obvious, honestly. For okay. Commander. Okay. Like, it's... You have 40 life. You you can just win. <laughs> like, instantly with that. Um. Next is Chaos Orb. I say unban Chaos Orb. I don't understand why it's banned. It's fun. It's, I, it I, is fun. It's, 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 it's a, a fun card. It's in, a legal uncard. Like... 
in the in in the world where we now have like sticker sheets that are sanctioned that are like you know guacamole kobold nonsense like <laughs> yeah i we were obviously okay with doing inane nonsense now so unban chaos orb it's fun it's goofy i like it yeah uh next is coalition victory no reason for it to be banned i yeah it's again it's a win con that costs like a stupid amount of mana you have to reach jump through hoops and people are yeah. up in our people who want this band are like well you put it in like a five color deck like ur dragon where your commander is all five colors and it's like okay do you have all five basic types um this is driving me insane i got I, I want i gotta look at some stuff and see what what's doing it but we can do that after coalition victory right so yeah the, the problem with it is like oh yeah you probably don't is it a basic land of each type or a land of each basic land type because that's different. A ba basic land type. So, like, your triumphs count for three. Okay, so that that does make it significantly better. Um, yes. You're still jumping you're through You're still hoops. jumping through hoops. Like, yes, does that make it better? Sure. But, like, five, stellar, five color good stuff piles are good. I'm sorry to break it to you. I don't like playing against them any more than you do, but, like... It's not like they're having a struggle without it. I don't think they'll be significantly better with it. So, yeah, I, no, I'd, I'd say unban. I'm on the unban. All right, Emrakul the Aeon's Torn, I believe, is the banned one. Yep. Um, I, I am okay with this one being banned. Prote protection I protection know, I, from I, instance is too good. Uh, I mean, it's not protected from counter spells, is it? I'm pretty sure. Does it say can't I'm be? Pretty sure it does is. it say can't be countered on, on. it? Oh, never mind. It cannot be countered. I forgot that was on there. I agree with you. Yeah, that. I think that's, that's I think, the problem. It's. I think that this is a fine card if you remove the this can't be countered. I I think it goes in extremely deserved. Yeah, I like. It's it's not. <laughs> I don't know why they put that on there. Like, I, I don't think that you can have a win con that you can't counter. That Yeah, it's it's, it's remove at sorcery speed. Win. <laughs> like, no one no one runs sorcery speed remover no. really anymore. Well, I run a little, but... Well, there, like, there are some, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, there are the, some. The, like, the only, Feed the Swarm is good. Fair, one of the only ones that I still use is Return to Dust, which nobody uses, but I like... Return to Dust, Return to dust is an instant. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh. I always play it at Sorcery it's just, Speed it just, because it doubles it up. It's just beneficial more. Yeah, to play well, I mean, it, it's bad as an instant, honestly, because you only get one thing for four mana, and that's not that much. Yeah. All right, next thing is Paradox Engine. <sighs> Listen, I understand the Paradox Engine ban. I, I've played... Here's the thing. I've played against Paradox Engine decks on uh, Brawl, on Arena. It should remain banned. It's it's way too good. <laughs> it's really good. When I first learned to play Commander, I built my Locust God deck, and the the person who taught me had a Joyra Weatherlight Captain deck with a Paradox Engine. It was if I let him get it down, it was no. Good. Yeah, you, if you like, if you get a Paradox Engine on the field, it's just I'm gonna play Magic now until I win. So watch me. <laughs> See. I feel like this one goes in extremely deserved. Yeah, I, I like think so too. I don't think it's obvious because people, like, how would I say this? People don't understand just how good that is until you've played against it. And then it becomes like, oh, okay, that's why it's on the list. <laughs> also, fun, uh, fun trick with uh, that on Brawl, on Arena, is you can build an Acerarak the Archlich deck and then put a paradox engine in there and it just uh -huh. allows you to recast a sarac from your command zone over and over and over and as long as you never complete tomb of annihilation you just get you open just, with all of the just... dungeon effects <laughs> yeah which is pretty ridiculous okay um i don't know this next one actually i i it's the one that counters spells i'm trying i'm looking up the command the ban list right now cuz i can't remember the name of it it just counters everything or the first spell played each turn or something. 
All right, Commander. Where are you at, Commander, on here? There it is, Commander Band Cards. Uh, I believe it is Ereo Soratami Ascendant. That's... How do you spell that? <laughs> e E R A Y O. It's one of the original. It's one of the original Kamigawa like f like flip oh, where you yeah, flip yeah, it upside yeah. down after oh. you hit an effect. Whenever the fourth spell of a turn is played, okay, so it's like a storm thing. Kind of the. Yeah, it's oh, it's mono crazy. blue cantrip. It's mono blue cantrip to flip it. This is one I would put in Bandes Commander. Personally. Oh, it's a legendary creature. Yeah, I would say so, too. I actually really like this as a card in the 99. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I understand this. You don't want people's stuff getting countered all the time. Right. But, like, you know, I mean, and especially because you have to cast four spells in a turn to flip it. Like, Well, that's what I'm saying. It's 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 mono blue cantrips. Right. So you play your ops, you play your um, all your one mana draw, like, you know. Yeah, I, I don't really All I don't have stuff. a problem with this as long as it's not in the command zone. It it seems it seems fine. It's it's a little stacksy, but I am not strictly opposed to stacks if you play it intelligently. Yeah. Um uh, this next one I uh, also don't know. Uh Falling Star. Falling Star. Sounds like land destruction. Uh it is from Legends, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh it's a I think it's it's a it's a flip one. Whatever it hits, it destroys or something like flip that. Flip falling star onto the playing area from a height of at least one foot. Falling star deals three damage to each creature it lands on. Tap all creatures dealt damage by falling star. If falling star doesn't, what? Oh, if falling star doesn't turn completely over at least once during the flip, it has no effect. I love these flip cards. I think they're yeah. hilarious. I, I would put this in in unbanned. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely putting this in unbanned. There's yeah, that's it's just funny. Can you imagine if you landed on a token pile? How hilarious that is! Well, yeah, you just do a little whoop, whoop, and then it just flips around and maybe it does a little cartwheel along the table, like how, hitting everything. How fun would it be if you just had people that just got really good at flipping falling stars? Like it becomes it becomes like a skill. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's it's red. You know, it's the chaos. Yeah, colors. So, I, I like you put no this in just a chaos. Deck. That's fun. There, it only goes in a chaos. Yeah, deck. you're not running this in a mono red deck to flip a card in the air. I would I would something. probably put this in my Feldon deck, just because it's a little nonsensy to begin with, and I am not against pet cards. Um, yeah. What's this next one? Fast Bond. This is the one uh, you can play an additional land, as many lands as you want this turn, but each land deals one damage to you. Pass the first. Yeah, this 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 is a ban. I no, th I this think is it, channel. This is channel. <laughs> no, listen, listen. You have to have the land though. Okay, so you play it in either uh, an Uro deck or a Tatiova deck. Yes. And then you just Tatiova. win on turn one. What? Imagine, Kyle. Imagine yeah, no, Tatiova. I, yeah, I can see it now, and you'd win on turn one. You you get Tatiova out early, okay? But you're playing like eighty lands, so you're only playing like nineteen cards that'll ramp you out to Tatiova as fast as you can. You play fast bond, and then boom, land drop, boom, land drop, and you're just going all the way until you get your lab man. Yeah, or something. no, it's you win. Imagine you win on turn one or two with that. Imagine Obvi the value. Obvious ban. Obvious ban. <laughs> Imagine the value. I'm, I'm guy. throwing up in my mouth right now. I'm imagining it so hard. Civic players do not need that kind of help. No, I'm with. You. It's obvious. It would just be fun to play. It would like. It would be. It'd be fun to see in like a CDH game. I think. But like again, even for CDH, I think it's too powerful. But like even yeah. even Crick normally doesn't win on turn one, but that would make pretty much any Simic deck win on turn one, like yeah. reliable. No, no, you're right. Like you're 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 right. Like, I'm not gonna argue it, with you on it. It would just be right. Funny. It would it would be funny, but like you know, your rule zero it if you want to see some fun. But it it should not be a thing that's just allowed all the time. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, talking about CDH, the next card is Flash. Uh, unban. Un unban. Presuming we have two formats. Like, I think this is the only ban the RC ever did to appease CDH. Yeah, and it just doesn't make sense. Like, 
Nobody, nobody's playing it in casual. Almost the entire commander player base is casual. Like CDH is a small sub format. Um, it. Yeah, no, no you, I'm, I'm with you. Like, like it, it's what maybe fifteen percent, maybe of commander players, ten, fifteen. Yeah, I mean, for those who don't know, it's it's an instant. I believe for one in a blue, you get to put a creature out from your hand onto the battlefield against haste. It, it's and basically sneak can, attack, but it's an instant. And then you can pay its cost to keep out. Otherwise, I think it returns to your hand, or maybe it sacrifices. But that never, I'll put it that up never on became screen. relevant because people always just flashed out Protean Hulk, which fetches you two creatures, and it's an instant win. Yeah. So, so. In, assuming like we're just talking casual here, which is what we're doing, we're saying unban. I so here's here's the thing. I actually would flip it. I would say unban, but I would say ban Protean Hulking casual. Well, here's because the thing I too. You don't really Flash, see Protean. You don't even see Protean Hulking casual. Still. Right, but I think I think Flash and Protean Hulk together are a problem. But I think that having if you just ban one of them then I think it'd be better to ban Protean Hulk. Because you're you're, okay, you're going to get more utility out of Flash, and you're going to be able to do more interesting things, whereas Protean Hulk is just an instant win with Flash. Yeah, but we're talking just casual commander. Flash would be unbanned. I would say unbanned for, unbanned for casual. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, next, uh, this is Gifts Ungiven, I believe. Yeah, Gifts Ungiven. Oh, this is one that I know you want unbanned. It's it's another I like can't I what like it does. Let me see. Um, I I think I would personally not play this card because I don't have decks that would play. Actually, take the back. I have a Muldrotha deck that would like this card. Ooh, but that's that's pretty good. It's good. No, you're right. You look at the. You, uh, I think you tutor for four cards, right? Yeah. An opponent an opponent picks two of them. Or it's up to four. They pick two of them. Those two have to go to the graveyard. So the whole the whole deal here is people. You pick two cards. You only pick two that you want in the graveyard, and they put them. They have to put them in the graveyard. Yeah, that's. This is how it would work. Hmm. Um. Now we're uh, in the grand scheme of fair casual magic, Kyle. I would unban this card. I'm, tr I'm trying to decide here because I'm trying to see how you break it, and I can see. Uh, I used to, I used to mana intensive. I used to know the way that people would break this. I can't remember it for the life of me because I would never do it. Like I would. I imagine that you just do like a, um, like a living death or something. You know, to to like if you have a living death in, death in your hand or or an animate dead. <laughs> I think, I think Living Dead. Isn't that the one where it's like Enchant Creature in Graveyard, the weird old ones? Yeah, it gives it minus one, minus zero yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Animate Dead. Yeah, if, if you just have like a um, like a recursion spell in your hand, then you'd play Gifts Ungiven, make and fetch the two cards that they're going to put into your graveyard. I still... that that's, that's harder to break, though. Like, that's mana intensive, that's three spells, like... I no, think, it's, it's, I, th I think it's unbanned. Are there definitely ways to break this card? Yes. Yeah. I think I think the only place you'd find a problem with it is CEDH. Right. I don't think I don't think casual would would really have a problem. And even in CEDH, I mean, there there are more broken things than this in CEDH. So yeah. I, I'm gonna say unbanned. I also am on unbanned. All right. Next, uh, next uh, is hole breacher. breacher. Yeah, I, this ban ban. Why do you hate all the good things? It's in not. It's a, it's a terrible card. They never should have printed it. Like it was a mistake from the start. It's a mistake on yeah. on the caliber of like arcane signet. Yes. Okay. Listen. Listen. Hole breacher is mean. Okay. But you never got to. Re no one played Narset Windfall Hole breacher all the time. Yes, they did. That's why it got banned. <laughs> I have. I didn't. I've lost to a Narset Hole breacher. <laughs> I didn't ever do it. I've never played Hole Breacher because I never got the it, chance. Because I never bought one because it was like fifty dollars, and I was like, filthy, I don't want. It. Extremely deserved. 
<sighs> you know, I, I I would say deserved, not extremely. Yeah, well, I'm putting but... it in extremely as long as it's not on the unbanned list because it. No, like, no, I put it in deserve. I would put it in deserved. It is a. I'm sad I never got to use it. It is a cataclysmic error in game design. It is so bad. <laughs> Uh, next is Iona. I, oh, right. This is one that I know uh, I've talked about, but I can't remember what it does. It, they unbanned Painter, Servant, and ban this card because you pick a color and the color can't be cast, I think. How do you spell I is that Iona? Because it's not I-O-N-A. I, it is I-O-N-A. It is not. I don't think. It is, too. Iona, Shield of Vimeria, I believe. Oh, Okay. I, oh, there it is. I have Shield of Mary. Yeah. Uh, as the, okay. Okay. First of all, it's nine mana. Um, so that's important. I didn't know that. As it enters the battlefield, choose a color. Your opponents can't cast spells of the chosen color. Okay, sure. With Painter Servant, that's kind of broken, but that's 12 mana that you're dumping into a stacks lock. Like, there are easier stacks locks to achieve. <laughs> No, see, because what they did is basically what you said with Flash is they just flipped it. They said, okay, let's unban Painter Servant. We'll ban Iona. I, right. I'd i say banned as Commander. Anyway, Iona banned as Commander. We're going to make it through this video, and I'm going to uninstall Discord and reinstall it, and hopefully that fixes it. You know, um, a little extra editing to do on this one. <laughs> yep. Okay, so Iona banned as Commander. Yes. That's fair. I feel like that is fair. Uh, next. Uh, is this uh, I believe so. I believe that's Krakus, right? Yeah, or turn target uh, legend to its owner's hand. I think that's deserved. This this one I feel would be either deserved or extremely because just on a land, no one like someone's playing their commander. It's just a free bounce every time their hand. Right. Right. It is. It is in white, which is less useful, but even still, I it's. I, it's it's a good card to have on the ban list. No, I would agree. I think this one goes deserved or extremely deserved. No, you know what? I feel like this is obvious. Yeah. For, like, for Commander, it for, is pretty For obvious. Commander, it's obvious because you're just bouncing a Commander every time. Right. Now, why they have, why they decided to make Isengard Caracas in a, uh, like, basically Commander-only set, I will still never understand. <laughs> Scroll down a little bit here. All right, next is uh, Leovold. Emis. Uh, it is uh, b -b 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 not Jund. Why do I want to say Jund? Uh, Soul Tide to play. Okay. Uh, I think it's an Ocean Thief essentially. Am I wrong? Yeah. Each opponent can't draw them more than one card each turn. Uh, whenever you are a permanent, you control becomes the target of a spell or ability. An opponent controls, you may draw a card. Why is okay. this banned? No, it's a little different. It's. I think. I think this is just another banned as commander thing, except not for me. I would unban this, and I would let people play as commander. I, I would. I would hard unban this. I have. Yeah. That this doesn't seem ban worthy. I feel like they banned it as a commander, and I don't remember when that whole rule went away. But then you know. But yeah, like it, it's mean. Don't get me wrong. It is mean. It's it's but... it's three colors, right? It's like people argue Narset in the command zone or Notion Thief, whatever. It's three yeah. colors to play, so at earliest it comes down as turn three if you're only lands. Like, yeah, if you get a mana rock... You know what? If you, even if you get a mana rock out, it's still turn three. Because you spend two sure. mana to put the mana rock out. Um, I mean, honestly, if you see somebody's playing a Leovold deck, just make sure that you mulligan to have a removal spell in hand so you can get rid of it when it comes down. Like... Yeah, no, I think... That's the... I th you're you're going to see their commander before you even do mulligans. So... <laughs> That's what I, I feel like this is just hard on ban. Yeah, I don't see it, it, this is a silly ban. Uh, next, uh, uh, I think that's library. library. Alexandria? I think it's library. Yeah. I don't actually know what that does. I just know it's banned. Uh, draws cards. Uh, tap to add a mana to your pool and uh, just a colorless, and then tap to draw a card. But activate only if you have exactly seven cards in hand. Why? Yeah. Oh, because you just do it turn one, I assume? Is that why it's bad? If you're doing it turn one, I don't know. Like, like pay pay zero, draw a card on turn one. I mean, that's good for like, sure. Like, turn, you'd have, like, you know, you draw your card for turn you're at eight, you play a library, tap it, draw a card, you're back to seven. Or are you back to, well, like, no, you're back to eight, and then you discard. 
And you, so I guess, yeah, you keep your hand full for the first few turns until you play more than one thing a turn. That doesn't seem like that broken. Because, well, especially because... Hold on, how would this work? So you draw, you play one, you tap it, you draw back up to seven. Oh, you draw up to eight, right, because you drew on your You draw for turn. turn, yeah. So you draw to eight. But then you're just always using this to draw a card and bring yourself back. Like, it's good? Oh, my chrome, no. But yeah, I would say deserved. That's where I would put it. Okay. I don't know this next one. I don't, I don't see it. Oh. Uh, what is that one? I can't see. It's too small. Let me open my ban list up here. Um... Limited resources. I don't think I've even heard of that one. I don't remember this one. Limited resources. When limited resources... It's an enchantment for a single white. Uh, when lim limited resources comes into play, each player chooses five lands he or she controls, sacrifices the last. As long as there are ten or more lands in play, players cannot play lands. Oh! <laughs> so It's a worse, but like a better balance. Because like you have four players, yeah. so each person can have... Two. So two people will be able to have three, and then no one else will be able to play lands. Yeah, that's for a single white mana. I I, I agree. If it, if it was like four mana, I think this would be like four or five. This would probably be okay. I feel like this goes in extremely deserved. Yeah, but as as a single white mana, that's that's too good. Now people may be wondering why unban balance. Balance is yeah. one time. It's isn't it? It's just a sorcery. Yeah. It also doesn't hard lock the table to uh, to not play lands. Yeah. Well, and to only have two lands on the battlefield, two or three, most likely. Yeah. So yeah, that that would be why you like you can play a balance and still have everybody end up with like six lands. That's not that punishing. Yeah. Uh, next um, is Lutri. Uh, obvious. I think it's deserved. Okay, I, either way, it, it's... Like, like you I understand. A, you can't have a dual faster mage, essentially, like, in the command zone. That's that's not... That, no, obviously not. I understand. I think ever since they... I think it originally was obvious, right? Because yeah. it used to just be... You could just cast it from your companion zone. But right. then Wizards was like, that's broken. We didn't realize. You gotta pay three to put in your hand. It's still really good. And I feel like an, like an auto-include for that you know, is, like, not not good yeah. in the long run, even though, like, Soul Ring is auto-include. It's just different, because Lutri is color-specific. So I, I mean, feel like I, it's... I would even... Well, because what's the what's actually the companion text, though? Like, what qualifies it? Yeah. Every non-land card in your deck has a different name. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just I, I any deck why this got banned before the yeah. set even dropped. No, yeah. Any any commander deck with red and blue can run this, which I understand. I understand the obvious when it came out cuz it was just 3 mana at, like just to do it, but I think since they fixed it, I think it could, should still be banned, but it's more deserved. Yeah. Cuz like e even still like cuz I, I think the trick would essentially be like you're just digging through your uh through your is it deck for a fork yeah um and then as soon as you get your fork you're just going to pull this to your hand fork a fork and then storm off which pretty is, much yeah it's it, it, not not good you shouldn't have a dual caster mage in the command zone too good um i don't know this thing it's, it's, uh, Rick, it's it's recurring nightmare uh no there's a artifact is there not the next one i don't have oh, an artifact oh mine got moved out of order okay hold on recurring nightmare um uh enchantment sack a creature return a creature to your battlefield hand it's battlefield battlefield but you can only do it on your turn um my text they'll see this the text on cards is really small i have to like lean in there to hey. how much does it cost to play two and a black so three mana it, it's it's really good don't get me wrong is the cost sack a creature? Yeah, so it's an enchantment and then has sacrifice a creature, return recurring nightmare to its owner's hand, and return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. 
and activate only at sorcery speed. So you could just return a card, the creature you uh, sacrificed. Yes, that is true. So okay. you could abuse you could abuse some sort of ETBs. Yeah. Um... But I feel like this is more of a like Grizzlebrand scenario where you have Grizzlebrand in the graveyard and you just sack a token to put Grizzlebrand into play. Right. But to be fair, you can already do that. No, you can. I'm just saying, I feel like that's why this was banned in the first place. Yeah, but like also, there are other... Like, you can do it over and over. I think that's probably why... As long as you can put it in your hand. Or to recast it, sorry. You have to be able to recast it. Yeah, so as long as you recast it. I think that's probably why it's banned, because like most other things are like, you know, it's a... It's an uh, like animate dead like is an aura that enchants a creature in your graveyard or it's it's essentially cast trees. it's essentially cast an animate dead that costs one more mana every turn. Yeah, which yeah, I, I'd say this is this this is probably deserved because you can do it over and over, but it's only barely deserved if it is deserved. I I would say I would say deserved. I like personally. Let's see it. Woo! Um. Again, I don't really have a problem with most of the ban list. You can unban a lot of the cards, and I wouldn't care because I don't think I'd see them as often. Because I feel like people in the game generically stay away from that. Yeah. But if we're this talking, would be really fun in a crick deck. Yes, it would. Be. <laughs> but I I understand why it's banned. Like that's that's my whole thing. I understand why it was banned, even though I personally wouldn't care. Yeah. Um. So I, that, for that reason, I'd say deserved. Like, there are very few, I would say. I'm like, oh, keep that band. Right, right. Um, What is this next one? Is this is this prime time? No, that's... Uh... Oh, wait, why why is your prime time next? My next one is an artifact. Okay, okay, that, that's what happened. Okay, is the artifact to have imprint? Yes, it's a oh. panoptic mirror. Okay, what's the problem? Uh, remind me what... Per, uh, it. I know it imprints something. So, Panoptic Mirror is a 5-mana artifact with uh, X and tap it uh, is, is the imprint cost. You may exile an instant or sorcery card with mana value X from your hand. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may copy the exiled... Copy the card, exile the Panoptic Mirror. If you do, you may co- cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that this is banned just... So that you can't do extra turn loops. I would assume so. Trick. Um, but also, on on that topic, it's five mana to play the mirror, and then you have to pay X to imprint. Which mo- how, what's the standard for extra turn spells? And isn't it like six or seven? It's like um, you got time warp, which is five. I would say six is probably your average. Like if you're gonna average it, it would probably be six. So you're dumping 11 mana. 11 mana two-card combo that gets you infinite extra turns is, like, it's good, but I don't know if it's ban-worthy good. I I feel like it's different than the Time Vault Manifold key, or Voltaic key, whichever one untaps artifacts. Yeah, I I think that's true. Like, it's that one I understand, because it's, like, three total mana or something to just take infinite turns. Well, and there's also no there's no way to cheat the imprint cost. I don't think. No, no, you can't. You have to exile the card. Yeah, you're, and you're gonna have to. You can't reduce its mana value. That's not possible. So yeah, I I, I don't really think this is ban worthy. Like yes, it's very powerful, but like so is Kiki Jiki and a ham sandwich, and that's not banned. So. So yeah. I would I would unban it, but <laughs> I I would unban as well. That, that, that's always my standard for two-card combos. Like, okay, is it more powerful than Kiki-Jiki? Because Kiki-Jiki combos with everything. And usually for only, like, you know, four mana. Yeah. So, um, next one. Uh, is this, this is prime time. Okay, now... If this is what I think it is, I'm actually kind of. Uh, when it ET man. when it ETBs and attacks, you search for two basics and put them on the field. I believe. I believe. Yeah, it it is. Oh, it's two land cards. Any. Oh, land two cards. lands. Okay. Okay, so it's very powerful. Yeah, it's sure. it's six mana, right? Yeah, four green green. So four four green green. Play it. Get your Cabal coffers and your Urborg. 
Yeah. But we also have Tempt with Discovery. Get, get your Dark Depths and your Vesuva. Like. We, we also have Tempt with Discovery, which is four mana. Three and a green. Sure, sure. But, I mean, that fetches, what, a max of four lands and only does it once? Yeah. No, you're right. But you play this, and then, yeah, I guess you can blink it or attack with it, and you can do it, but... I, I don't... For I, six mana, I really don't think it's that bad. Here's the funny thing. I've talked to people who played back with before Prime Primeval Titan was banned, and they're like, oh, it was the worst thing ever. I'm like, well, I understand back then. But now, like, with everything we have... Yeah, like, is this really worse than, like, Bootlegger Stash? Give me treasures. But um, I I would say unban. Uh, I didn't ever play with this unban, but it doesn't seem like yeah, it's gonna do the simic bullshit thing. Like it's going to just dump lands onto the battlefield. Like that's what green does. That's its thing. So it, it's I, another green thing doing the green thing. I would unban it. That's just I would unban as well. I might I might live to regret that if it were unbanned, but I I would unban it. Um, next is um, Prophet of Crufix. I don't know why this is banned. Again, I think it was early Commander. This was banned. Yeah, it, it it's like it's, it's good for it's, sure. It's Seedborn Muse mixed with what on it? It um, like it untaps your all your permanents. I can't remember what the other thing is it does. Crufix is hard to spell. K r u p h i x. I figured it out. Um, all right, untap all. Cre so so it's three green blue, which is fairly expensive. So five mana. Um, and then untap all creatures and lands you control during each other player's untap step, and you may cast creature cards as though they had flash. Okay, so hear me out. Seedborn Muse, three green yep. green. Untap all permanents that you control. Yep. Artifacts, lands, creatures, everything. Play creatures at flash. Who cares? You yeah, it's. I I don't really get why this is banned. This you, doesn't seem banned. Worth. I think this is unbanned. I think you unbanned this. It's good for sure. I would play it. It's but... it's a better seedborn muse. That's, yeah, it's, that's it's a... better. It's better seedborn muse, but like you know, like yeah, you okay. un you untap creatures <laughs> and lands. You're not getting your mana rocks, but yeah, you just untap your stuff on the turn before, like your turn before that yours is. You just play your creatures. You give your stuff essentially haste goes absolutely ballistic in animar so that's cool yeah yeah i mean like uh, that's the thing though there's just decks that abuse every no card. no for like, sure for sure like i it, it doesn't it's not broken enough that i say ban it it's it's, it's a good card i'd play it but it's I, you know i think profit of crew fix is an unban it's an unban all right next one uh uh that is uh the elf man uh what's his name couldn't tell you i uh Come on, phone. Uh, Rafelos, Lawnmower Emissary. Green, green. Elves have Shroud or something. I don't remember. If I'm... No, 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 no. It's uh, Rafelos, Lawnmower Emissary is tap to add a green to your mana pool for each forest you control. For green. That's, green. A, green. that's a stupid ban. I'd put Band as Commander. Okay, I don't, I don't yeah, think straight. I don't think straight on Band. I think Band as Commander would make it still fair. Yeah, I, I even I even think full unban wouldn't even be that broken. But like Band as Commander is fine with me as well. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not I, really sure. I'm not really sure why that's in there actually. Like, like it's gonna go really good in that one. Uh, that one deck that turns all of your creatures into lands. Well, you have uh, that, but then you have, uh, yeah, the Yavimaya, all lands or forests. Like, yeah, yeah, but it's only for each forest you control as well. So no, like, yeah, I'm just saying it turns your non basics. Turns right, your non basics. Right. Yeah, Yavimaya is honestly mostly used for uh, uh, for the elf that gives all your elves forest walk, and then you just can't be blocked, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I would throw this. Uh, I would put this in band as commander and just let it be in a 99. That's fine. Um, next one. Uh, trade, trade secrets. Pack? No, it's trade, trade secrets. secrets. This was originally, fun fact, printed in Commander Precon. Which is why I didn't think it was banned when I bought a copy for Feldegriff, and then I found out it was banned. 
draws two cards, then you may do... Oh, wow. <laughs> um, That's really good. <laughs> no, it is. It's good for two players, right? And you, like, you just... You and that player draw as many cards as you want. Right. Um, you, um, you okay. however... Here's, here's the thing. If, if this was unbanned, you can shut this off immediately. You just say, all right, I'll draw two, you draw four, and I'm going to stop there. Well, so it's the opponent draws two, and then you draw up to four. Right, right. So if they're going, I want to draw two, and you okay, I draw four, and you keep going, and then you see they're just trying to draw their whole deck, they go, I'll draw two. You're like, okay, I'll draw one, or I'll draw zero. Like, you can keep yourself from right. decking yourself. They yeah, I, they have to be the ones to stop it, which I understand. Like, yeah, you and that person end up drawing your whole deck. Totally understand. Sure, but like, how often is that coming up? Like this this seems more of like a uh, like a CDH ban would seem likely because you're both just digging for Thassas. Yeah. But, like, I mean, first of all, don't pick the person running blue. Uh, a very, very easy way to avoid this. You just don't pick the person that's going to win with Thoracal. Um, yeah, I, I don't think this deserves. I'm on banning. the un, I'm on the unbanned train for this one. I, I say unbanned. I like, yeah. If you don't want them to draw more cards, then say I don't want you to draw any more cards. I, I think I still own my copy of this card that I bought to put in Feldegriff when I built it. Yeah. Holy crap! Five years ago. It's like it, it's like banning Chain of Smog because someone might choose to copy it. It's like okay, or just don't. What? <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Next one. Uh. Next is Sway of the Stars, I believe. Each player. Yeah. Uh, oh, holy crap! Ten mana, eight blue, blue for a sorcery. Each player shuffles his or her hand, graveyard, and permanence he or she owns into their library. Draws seven cards. Each player's life total becomes seven. Okay, so it's so it's a it's a restart the game kind of spell. Yeah. Um. There's one like this though. Like, uh, what was it? The one they just unbanned, the red one. World fire. World fire. Destroys yeah, everything. Really sets everyone to it's... one. Yeah, exactly. I don't really think this is that bad, honestly. No, this one is less feels bad, too, because you give everyone a full hand. Mana, for God's sakes. Like... You give everyone a full hand. Uh, It's everyone at seven. So if someone's playing life gain, yeah, sure. But, like, then don't play the card if they're going to bump themselves back up. Yeah, exactly. Um, Yeah, I, I don't. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. This is really disgusting with, like, Narset. But or wait, does that even work? No, because no, because it you, shuffles uh, Narset in. Yeah, it shuffles Narset away, and then that effect will be on the field. Yeah, there's a little, I unban, unban. What's this ban for? Uh, next is Sundering, Sundering Titan. Titan. Yeah, yeah. Sundering. I can let me get up real close here. Uh, when Sundering Titan ETBs or LTBs. Uh, choose a land of each basic land type and then destroy those lands. Eh. So, when an ETBs, you say, alright, all islands, poof, gone. When he leaves, all planes, gone. No, 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 it's, it's not all of them. It's choose a land of each basic land type and destroy them. So you can choose, like, one forest on the one thing with the land type forest on the battlefield and one for each other land type so you're going to destroy five lands maximum for eight mana is it yeah oh it is choose a land i thought it was choose a land type if if it was land type yeah that i would say yes we should keep that man probably but for this for eight mana like what do you eight, what do you eight mana about? eight mana destroy five lands on enter and leave yeah like, so, oh no! Oh no! It's gonna make five. It's gonna make it harder for five color decks to do their fixing. How tragic! <laughs> like the only way I see this abusing is like you play you play this in a colorless deck, and then you have Conjurer's Closet. <laughs> so so you're like, hey hey look, I'll keep my wastes, and you guys don't get colors. Listen, here's the thing though. 
that's fine. Like no, no, I'm just saying. I feel like that that's like really and the, unless you that, want that's just an I win. <coughs> yeah, or if for, you with a creature that costs eight mana, which I don't think is unfair at all. Yeah, I don't know. I would unban it. Yeah, I say unban. I don't see anything wrong with this. It's mean, but like you know, sometimes you got to be mean though. Yeah. Uh, next is Tinker. Oh, this is like sacrifice an artifact, get an artifact, right? Yeah, sack an artifact, get one into play. Okay, you you play artifacts much more than I do. This doesn't it's, seem that broken. It's bad. Is it this, bad? This is one of the few I would keep on the ban list. Okay, I, I will trust you on that because it doesn't like, seem that bad so, to me. So, so hear me out, bud. Artifact decks have a bunch of thopters, a bunch of little creatures, right? Sure, treasure is nonsense. Sack your thopter, go get your case, your uh, KCI. Oh. oh, it goes right into play. Yeah. Oh, I thought it fetched your... Okay, you know, yeah, 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 obvious ban, obvious ban. <laughs> I thought it just fetched it to your hand, and I'm like, I don't see the problem. No, I'm... Yeah, it goes into play. I'm not crazy. This is this is one of the few I'm like, all right, I under I understand like you go get you sack a thopter and then you go get like your back with Paradox engine. That was the th like, you know. Wait, you, we done goofed. Why? Well, prime time is next. And oh, we already did prime time. <laughs> oh, that's Sylvan Primordial. What is it called? Sylvan Primordial. All right, hold on. What's put this man back down okay boom prime time right there. they listen listen they're both green okay they're both green they're, they're both they're both beasts even i think um oh i know one is an avatar one's a giant never mind uh <laughs> all right when zilton primordial is the battlefield uh oh seven mana uh five green green when it enters the battlefield for each opponent destroy target non-creature permanent that player controls for each permanent destroyed this way search your library for a forest card put it onto the battlefield tap and shelf for your library so Does you it... get to destroy three three non-creature permanents and it's and for each opponent four. so it's up to nine no 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 it's 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 three because it's, 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 it's one per opponent. Oh, one per opponent. Okay, yeah, so just... Yeah, that, that, that's the same, three total. So that doesn't seem... So destroy broken. three three permanents, non-creature permanents? Yeah. For eight mana, seven mana? Seven, yeah. And then and it tutors three forests. Like, is it good? Yeah. Is it ban-worthy? I don't see why. I mean... I wouldn't ban it. I wouldn't ban it either. I don't admit, like. I also yeah, wouldn't can, play it. Flicker it, but like, yeah, I wouldn't. I I don't see a scenario where I would play this because it's it's conditional removal. It's absurdly expensive. Like for se removal, seven mana, get three lands, destroy three things. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, for sure. But like, it, it's not. But that, it, you could flicker it, I guess. Like, it's trying to do green stacks, but that's not a thing. So I don't know. Like, I'm a blue player. I just go, all right. I'll counter it if I really don't want you blowing yeah. up my stuff. Like, interaction well, and, it, and it's conditional. You can't destroy creatures with it. Yeah, and it, it doesn't have flash. You can only do it at sorcery speed. It's seven mana. I don't understand why this is banned. Yeah, like I feel like we have worse. Yeah, the, the, we have far worse. I think. Okay, next one. Uh, return all permanents to their owners. Oh, that's upheaval. Okay, uh, four, four blue, blue, I believe. Return all permanents to everyone's hands. So lands, creatures, everything. Everyone's stuff gets bounced back. Yeah, this this is in the same uh, the same thing as like basically you're just starting the game over. Um, yeah, I I would say probably keep it banned. I I put this one in deserved. Like, I, I would also put it in deserved. Like, it's not too bad, but like it, it just slows down the game unnecessarily. I'm using deserved more as my I don't care if it's unbanned category. Yeah. Like like most mostly this is just like hey the game's almost over let's start over. Yeah. Like, like hey yeah you, like, you upheavaled okay yay yeah cool like 
the the person that had all the stuff on the battlefield is probably still gonna win by the way because they have all their crap in their hand now <laughs> well and their lance so you you have to you, yeah you, yeah yeah you know you you pick your best seven in hand and then yeah you start the game over with whatever your life total is yeah it's i i think it should probably stay banned um time, next one time vault ban yeah it yeah that that it's it's obvious i think this is an obvious one yeah um another one one's... another one of the few i love extra turns but this with the voltaic key or manifold key whichever yeah, one yeah it, it's just disgusting like next um, is last one is Shahar... is kismet or I, think, I think it's shaharazad isn't it is it kismet band too Oh, no, oh, Kismet does look very similar, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Shaharazad. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's Magic sub-game, isn't it? Yeah, everyone starts yeah. over, like... Yeah, sure, Shaharazad can stay banned. That's just, yeah. <laughs> it's it's another one of those, like, I don't feel like people play very often. I wouldn't put it obvious. No, I, I, would, I would put it in deserved, I would put sure. it... I, I feel like I'd put it in the extreme deserved. Like, I would yeah. care a little bit if this one was. Yeah, well... And here's the thing, too. The only reason you're ever going to put this in a deck is if you're just building a dick around kind of deck. And if you're doing that, you can totally rule zero it in. Like, you know, if, if, you're, if you're all understanding that, hey, we're playing a nonsense game, they're going to let you play Shaharazad. Yeah. All right. Because, well, like, I... there's no more nonsensey card than Shaharazad. <laughs> no. And, like, here, here's our, our list is done. You see this? The one thing I do want to say about the Power 9 ban that I've been thinking about while we've been doing this, it's not the price yeah. point that I believe it should no. be banned. It's just straight power. Like, Yeah. People, I hear the argument, well, Power 9 should be banned because no one can afford it. It's, it's a, and? Magic is a pay-to-win game. Like, I hate to break exactly. it to you. Look, look, look at CEDH. Look at the deck price on some CEDH decks. I have look a, at the fact that people actually own copies of Bazaar of Baghdad. Like, I own a very cheap cedh deck all right rewind it i have a very cheap cedh deck and it's 1300 dollars, which is very expensive for a commander deck yeah but it's very cheap for a cedh deck like, um like yeah, I, I i don't think i don't think the power nine needs to be banned because they're expensive i think they just need to be banned because they're too good it's it's so like, good like the mocks the mocks are ridiculous it's it's like, it's way better lotus petals like oh hey well do you even sack them no they stay in play it's just zero mana yeah yeah you think your five color good stuff piles are bad now like, <laughs> like wait till they can play their their wooberg commander on turn one yeah and if the reason very rarely but if the know. reason that something is ever banned because of how expensive it is i disagree 100 percent yeah, exactly. Well, like Library of Alexandria, we almost put that in the unban portion, and that is a twenty three hundred dollar card. It would only go up if it was unbanned too. Exactly. The the reason it's that cheap now is because no one can play it. Um. Well, before we offend anyone else, uh, don't forget that we have a TikTok where this is all kind of started at, and when we hit a thousand followers, we're doing uh on TikTok. We're going to do a card giveaway. Okay, we got at least cards here. One, we'll have a guaranteed Sylvan Library given away. Um, I'm going to grab just a random card out of here. We'll see what's in here. There's a there's an Ulamog in here, okay? Pretty pretty nifty card. Okay, there, it's not just junk in here. So if you're not following TikTok, go follow the TikTok. Same thing, Sylvan Librarians. Um, what else we got? The Magic Summit again, for those who don't know, comes up yep, in October yep. this year. Uh, we'll be there. But uh, otherwise, I don't have anything else. Yeah, not really. Uh, I guess pester the RC until they make this list a reality. Yeah, we're we are the um, almighty authority. Yeah, we 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 we're right, and everyone else is wrong. Um, Any complaint you have about Commander, we can solve very simply. <laughs> anyway, um, and that well, well, maybe one day that part will be released. Um, maybe one day that that'll go. That's the Patreon exclusive. <laughs> Uh, we don't have one of those yet. As yeah, pish posh. Um, anyway, we have been the Sylvan Librarians, and uh, you can disagree with our list, but you're wrong, and we'll see you next time. Peace.